So today I'm going to, well, I should say tonight, it's late. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all how I glitter um, these images so that it's all hand glittered. Um, I've already glittered most of it and then I realized, hey, this would be a good video. <laughs> so I still have the outlines and stuff to do, which I'll show y'all. But um, basically just to run you through the steps. So I... Um, did a white background for this one and I did a uh, white spray paint, flat spray paint, then I epoxied it method for the white glitter, then put two coats of epoxy over this so it's nice and smooth. And then I got a um, the Cricut printable vinyl um, from Amazon, it'll be in the description, and cut out um, stitch on my Cricut and then I put it on there and you don't need to seal it or anything, at least I've never had to. And then basically it's just like a paint by numbers, um, but with glitter and Mod Podge. <laughs> so um, obviously I did the blue, I did, let me see, I did Slay Hollow glitter um, from Glitter For All. And the red is a laser cherry red from um, Sass and Crafts Glitter. And the nose is Wonderland from Glitter Heart. And I'm working on the outline right now in like this gray, really pretty gray color. I don't know if it'll focus. I love this color. It's what I do on my gray and black, um, gray and white plaids and um, it's Disco Ball from Glitter Heart. And then the purple, I don't know where I got it from. Unfortunately, that was, I got it when I first started doing this two years ago and didn't label it. So lesson learned. But basically, um, I also have, let's see. Um, this tiny fine point brush um, and then Mod Podge and I've got a little container of it and then you just basically go around um, everything that you want that color glitter and then do a little bit glitter it do a little bit glitter it you see I have stuff everywhere um, that all wipes away so it's easy to fix easy to do um, yeah, so let's get, oh, also, I have tried the little mini squeeze bottles with the fine, fine tips for my Mod Podge, but honestly, I hate getting that stuff in and out of those little tiny bottles. I feel like it takes me a day or two to just soak it out. Um, so I'm going, so I found this little brush, and I've been using it, and it works just as well because it's so fine. Um, yeah, so let's just... So anywhere that's gray, I'm just going in and glittering. Just kind of blotching it in the area. Oh, not that much. Y'all can't even see with my big hand in the way. I have found that this stuff dries really, really fast on the vinyl. So that's why I can only do a little bit. And then I have to glitter it. And cap it off. And I'm just going to repeat this whole step. Try to stay focused the whole time.
And there's our little stitch. Pretty cute. She likes little tongue sticking out. But look at that sparkle. It just takes the cup to a whole new level with glitter. I love it. And it's easy to do. You can do any image. I've done Eeyore, done a red truck, a um, couple other ones. Those were just recent ones. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, hit the like, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to me. If you have any questions, hit the comments below and I will answer them. And um, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos. Check it out. I'm going to get this cleaned up and then um, epoxy it and I'll show you the finished product. Bye, y'all.